welcome to my channel. Today I am back with a video on bird watching in Neura Valley National Park. The Neura Valley National Park in the lap of Himalayas is situated in the Kalimpong district of North Bengal. The calmness, the serenity of the jungle trails and the vast clean all around me is where I feel the most alive. Do you feel the same? Then join me in this video where I am exploring the Neura Valley National Park and I will be telling you all the details like how to reach, where to stay and how to do bird watching in the park. Stay tuned. I have been to Lava earlier in 2019 and did bird watching in Rishabh, Lava and Kolakham which I have shared in earlier videos. You can find the link in the description box. This trip in 2023 March, in this trip I went to Lava mainly to do bird watching in Neura Valley National Park. I did one day birding in Rishabh also which I will cover in my next video. To reach Lava from Kolkata, I took a train from Kolkata to NGP and then the car arranged by the homestay picked me up from the NGP station. From NGP, uh, the driver took the route which uh, goes beside the uh, Gajoldoba, Odalbadi and Gorubathan and then takes the route to Lava. In Lava, I stayed at Singchula Homestay. It was an advantage to stay there at, as it is very close to Lava Bazaar and also close to the Neura Valley National Park. The rooms were very clean and well maintained. Bathroom had geyser which was turned on during the morning and turned off during the evening. Geyser is a luxury in this remote area but it was good to have as it was very cold. The staff was very friendly and the food there was very fresh, warm and delicious. By the time we reached the homestay, it was afternoon, so after lunch, we just explored the Lava Bazaar and the nearby areas and I also did some bird watching and got some birds like Rufus Painted Yuhina, Fire-tailed Sunbird and a blue fronted red star female. So that day uh, we did some rest and the next day I headed for the Neura Valley National Park. Neura Valley National Park is in Kalimpong district and covers an area of 88 square kilometers and stretches in the north up to an altitude of 3200 meters. The highest point of this national park is Rechela Pass where it forms a boundary with Sikkim in the north and Bhutan in northeast. This links Neura Valley National Park to Pangalikha Wildlife Sanctuary in Sikkim and Chapramari Wildlife Sanctuary and Goromara Sanctuary is adjacent to its southern boundaries. It's a vast area of forest which is extremely rich in flora, fauna and the feathered animals. Best time to visit the national park is from December to March for birding. Uh, as in different seasons, you get different species in a different time of the year. I went in March 2023 and that is the time when it is uh, the birds are most uh, active. Uh, though very pristine, it really is difficult to capture birds in the dense forest. You can actually see how dense the forest is from the footage. So here you have to find the birds and then capture that. 
this trip, I was guided by Joseph Lipchada, a very senior birding guide of North Bengal. Birding with him let me uh, explore many new lifers, that is the birds that I have seen for the first time. So I will give his contact details in the description box. In case you need, you can contact him. Joseph Lipchada is a very knowledgeable person and he knows in and out of the national park and uh, he is very well aware of the different birds and their habitats in the national park. So you can contact him. On the day of birding in the Neura Valley National Park, we went inside and were greeted by two alpine thrush back to back and which was uh, then uh, followed by another bird which is the wild tail robin. We also spotted a college peasant and a olive back pipit but they were too fast for me to capture and get a shot of them. Then we reached the Chodaferi camp from where we got the permit to enter the different trails in the national park. So this is the permit. So here we go. The main focus uh, on this trip was to get the Wat Strogan or Satya Tragopan. But then uh, we tried at different places and we could not hear its call. So uh, instead we found many other birds like a uh, flock of Yuhinas, Fulvetas, Finches and I got many other birds which were uh, lifer to me. So I will show you some of the birds that I got in the trip. As we entered the trail, the first bird that we sighted was a slender bill skimeter babbler, uh, a bird with a very unique bill as you can see in the pictures. Uh, then another uh, a very small colorful bird, black-eared shrike babbler. Uh, a colorful uh, wabbler, black-faced wabbler. Yellow-throated fulveta, a bird which I really wanted to see in this trip and I got one. Then uh, we came across a flock of barbing which had both rusty fronted barbing and hoary throated barbing. I just got good shots of rusty fronted barbing in, in a beautiful setup. Then we came across a dark rumped rose finch. The male flew away before I could take a shot. And immediately after that we got a golden nap finch female. It was really a woman's day with two females back to back. Uh, black throated tit and finally we spotted a whistler's wobbler a very good catch in the uh, in the bushes so overall it was a good sighting in the morning session after lunch and taking some rest we again went budding in the second half session and we got uh, striped throated yuhina. It was a flock of yuhinas which had uh, the striped throated yuhina as well as uh, there were uh, rufous vented yuhina. There was also whiskered yuhina in the flock, but I didn't get good shots of it. I earlier had good shots of the bird, so that was okay. Then we saw a yellow bellied fairy fantail. Uh, this bird actually uh, spreads its tail. Uh, so it's called a fantail. Another fantail was white-throated fantail. Then we spotted uh, chestnut belly rock thrush male uh, on the magnolia trees. We then came across a um, flock of red-headed bullfinch, male and female, having their snacks. Then we spotted a orange bellied Himalayan squirrel and it was getting misty and the light was falling uh, fast so we thought of wrapping but then suddenly we saw the Tibetan serene a flock 
uh, it was flying in the valley and it was very beautiful to watch this sightning made my day it was a wonderful sightning happy and excited with the sightings we call it a day and the next day we went to rishab for a whole day birding uh, we went to sunakhari resort and in the nearby areas of resort uh, for birding and also in the uh, vicinity of lovely homestay so i will be covering this in my next video so if you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to support me because i will be visiting places like this and would like to cover the beautiful surroundings as well as the birds and show it to you stay healthy stay happy till that time bye